are mounting concerns over how Hezbollah, Iran, and the Syrian army may respond to the U.S. military attack, the administration is likely preparing for another type of attack as well. Tara Mailer joins us on the set to discuss the threat of cyber attacks, which many say have the potential to cripple American banks, markets, and other critical infrastructure. She's a former CIA analyst and a research fellow at the New America Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. So last week, of course, the New York Times was attacked by the Syrian Electronic Army. Should the U.S. be concerned about cyber attacks should they launch a military attack? Absolutely. Obviously, there's reason to be concerned for retaliation within Syria itself sure. and the surrounding areas in a conventional sense. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I think that makes this situation unique and very different than our Iraq intervention back in 2003 is the potential for cyber retaliation. Times have changed. Times have certainly changed. We saw the New York Times attack just last week, and we've seen the Syrian Electronic Army going after all sorts of media outlets over the past few months. We've also seen them hack into Twitter with a false attack against the White House, which caused the Dow to plunge, so economic effects from these sorts of attacks, and I think we are likely to see them ramp up activity in light of any U.S. military intervention. And there are real consequences to hacking. Absolutely, real consequences in terms of putting misinformation out that could have economic effects, both domestically and internationally, and in a worst-case scenario, real consequences if a cyber attack were to have kinetic effects or real concrete effects on infrastructure or in a real worst-case scenario, loss of life. Fortunately, the Syrian Electronic Army doesn't seem to have capabilities to carry out a large-scale cyber attack. Mm -hmm. However, I'd like to caveat that with the fact that if they were to get some sort of state sponsorship, merge with Iran, merge with Russia, that would ramp up their capabilities substantially. Not saying that's likely, a bit of speculation at this point, but just something to be cautious of in the upcoming weeks and months. So what is the U.S. doing right now? Well, the U.S., you can bet, is probably looking into intel on the cyber side to see where potential targets of the electronic army might be domestically. We've seen them go after media outlets. We've seen the Iranians go after financial targets, so it could be something that they are looking at as well on the Syrian side. Mm -hmm. um, and also the United States probably will take some offensive actions to try to maybe take down some of their capabilities if they do have intelligence that suggests they are launching some sort of worrisome attack. But again, without having the classified information, hard to know specifics, but these are things the U.S. government and intel officials are certainly looking out for in the upcoming days and weeks. It is indeed a new day. Uh, uh, Tara, thank you so much. Thanks Great information. I have something to stand to tell you about as well. We are getting worse that President Obama will deliver a statement on Syria from the White House at 1.15 this afternoon. 1.15 this afternoon. So do keep it here on Al Jazeera for all the latest on this ongoing situation. We will bring that to you.